What is up, guys? How are you guys doing today? I am back with another video of Technology Tech. As you guys can see by my actually profile, my um channel, it says TT Technology. Yes, because someone actually coming on my video saying Technology Tech doesn't make a sense. That that's, doesn't make a sense of a name. Since Technology Tech, they're literally the same as that name, just Tech is a lower name. So that's why I changed it. I'm still going to be saying Technology Tech. TT stands for technology tech, and technology is technology. So, so, T, so remember, T and T stands for technology tech. Now, today we're going to be talking about so much new information to tell you guys. It's probably going to be a long video. I tell you guys about my new phone that I'm getting. I'm supposed to be ordering it today. Today is Monday. Today, I don't have my Apple Watch on. Today is Monday, March the 16th. Yes, today is Monday, March the 16th. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be able to. I haven't made the video in like a week because I've been doing so much throughout this weekend. And plus, schools are out. Plus, schools are out. So, I'm like, it's just so much stuff. I'm out for two weeks. So, yeah. Because of the coronavirus in Georgia and all that. But anyway, let's get back. So, we're going to talk about... I'm going to talk to you guys about my new phone I'm getting. I'm actually getting the Galaxy Note 8. Now, I was looking at some phones yesterday. I was trying so hard. Because I, want the, I wanted the Galaxy S10 Plus. I like the Galaxy S10 Plus. I was trying so hard to find a Galaxy S10 Plus that was at least under $320. But that's just impossible to find the Galaxy S10 Plus under $300. And the retail price is $850. I tried to find the regular S10, which is probably possible to find the S10 on $320. Since the retail, the retail is $750. But it's very possible to find the Galaxy S10e on the $320. But I really don't want no Galaxy S10e. I like it, but it's a little bit too small. And I want a phone that's bigger. It has it's literally the same size as my iPhone 10, 5.8 inch display. But the Galaxy S10 retail price is six hundred dollars. So I'm probably gonna get in the Galaxy Note 8, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to try out the new S Pen. I cannot wait to try out the camera, to the photo camera. I'm ordering it today, period. So I'm going to Walmart. I'm getting me going to get eBay. Going to get an eBay card. I'm going off of Walmart. I already told you guys. So, yeah. Enough. If I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Let's talk about the gap. I thought I have a new leaks to tell you guys. I got new Galaxy Note 20 leaks. I have an iPhone 12 leaks. I have a lot more leaks to tell you guys about. Let's start with the Galaxy Note 20. Since that's probably the most exciting. Plus, the Galaxy Note 20 comes out before the yeah, iPhone 12. Now I don't know for sure if the guy I don't know. Do, let's talk about the release release date first. I don't really know if it's going to be coming out in July or August. I heard some people say, even some people on Twitter, some people said that the Galaxy Note Twenty could be coming out in July. I'm not actually sure about that. I don't think it's going to be coming out in July because most people that have most people that actually have been um. Doing the leaks of Galaxy Note 20, most of them have said it's going to be coming out in August. So, it's a 50-50 chance, either July or August. It's most likely going to be coming out in August. Next thing, let's talk about the cameras. Now, Galaxy Note 20, I'm not sure about the lineup. I don't know if it's going to be like the Galaxy Note 20, Galaxy Note 20 Plus, or Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Or if it's just going to be the Galaxy Note 20 or the Galaxy Note 20 Plus. I'm not sure how the lineup is actually going to be. But what I saw... But what I have saw last time I looked at the leaks, it's going to be the Galaxy Note 20, the Galaxy Note 20 Plus, and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So the Galaxy Note 20 is supposed to have three cameras. The Note 20 Plus is supposed to have four cameras. And the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is also supposed to have four cameras. So let's really like to how the Galaxy S20 lineup is. S20 got three cameras. S20 Plus got three, four cameras. S20 Ultra got four cameras. But, this how it's actually going to be. And we're supposed to have actually a redesign on the S Pen. I cannot wait for see how this redesigned S Pen is going to look like. It's, it's going to be really, really amazing. And we possibly could have a 7-inch display at least. It's definitely going to be a 7-inch display. 
It's supposed to at least have a seven inch display in the Galaxy Note 20. So I'm so proud to say up tall on what they're doing. It's just truly amazing. Now, let's talk about the iPhone 12 because I have a lot more stuff to tell you guys about the iPhone 12. Now, here's how I just saw the line is going to be. It's going to be the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Max, the iPhone 12 Pro, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And all of them are supposed to be actually cheaper than the Galaxy S20 Ultra, which is really surprising to me. I thought Apple would have made the iPhone 12 Pro Max probably like $1,600. <laughs> but I guess that's not the case because the most expensive iPhone 12, I, I think it's supposed to be the iPhone 12 Pro Max, supposed to be around $1,200. Which is still cheaper, two hundred dollars cheaper than Galaxy Ultra. So that's pretty crazy. So now the iPhone 12 is supposed to have three cameras. The iPhone 12 Max is supposed to have four. The iPhone 12 Pro Max is supposed to also have four, and the iPhone 12, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is actually supposed to have five, I think. No, four on the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and 12 on the 12 Pro is also four. But that's how the camera is actually going to be looking. Now, the design of the iPhone 12, 12 Max, and 12 Pro, and 12 Max, Pro Max, and all that, it's supposed to be a boxy shape. Remember olden days when the iPhone 4, iPhone 5 were out, the 5S, the, 5, the old, raggedy, plasticky iPhone 5C? Y'all remember those? Yeah. So, yes, it's supposed to actually be like that. That's design, so I guess Apple's going back. I don't think that's really a smart choice to go back to that design. I thought if I was if I was in charge of Apple, I would have made a curved display like Samsung. I would make like a better design, make bigger phones. Six point five inches is a huge phone with the iPhone Eleven Pro Max. But I wish Apple can make the screens bigger. They are. If you're expecting a six point seven inch, which is still not going to be bigger than Samsung. Apple is never going to get bigger than Samsung, no matter what. Samsung smartphones have always been bigger than iPhones. I wish Apple could just make a 6.9 inch or a 7 inch like Samsung is. Just try to be on par. So whenever they compare the iPhone 12 Pro Max, that's going to be the biggest one. And they said the regular iPhone, ouch, the regular iPhone 12 is supposed to be a 5.4 inch and the iPhone 12 Pro Max, no, the iPhone 12 Max is supposed to be 6.1 inches. And I heard, I think, I'm not sure, so I'm gonna take my word on this, but I think the iPhone 12 Pro, possibly either a 5.8 inch or a 6 inch or maybe a 6.1 inch, but I know the 12 Pro Max is gonna be a 6.7 inch display. I don't know why Apple's trying to make the display smaller coming out with a 5.8 inch. Uh, no, a 5.4 inch. They should just had like they should have had it to where the iPhone 12 Pro was a 6.1 inch display, and they should have made like Samsung what they do on the Note the Note 10 series, the Note 10 is 6.3 inches, Note 10 Plus 6.8 inches. They should have had it on the iPhone 12 Pro made it 6.1 inches, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max 6.7 inches. That's better, right? 6.1 inch, 6.2 inches, 6.3 inches, 6.4 inches, 6.5 inch, 6.6 inch, 6.7 inch. So it'll be 7 inches bigger. Never wrong with that. So, that's enough for the iPhone 12 leaks. Now, OnePlus is supposed to be coming out with their new phone probably this month or next month because the, the um, OnePlus 7 Pro, OnePlus 7T, all of them, OnePlus 7T Pro, no, not OnePlus 7T Pro, OnePlus 8 Pro, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro, wait, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 8 Pro, OnePlus 8T, OnePlus 7, no, OnePlus, I cannot, I can never get OnePlus names right. OnePlus 8T Pro, OnePlus 8T. So OnePlus 8T and OnePlus 8T Pro, so I'm supposed to possibly be coming out either this month or next month. So I'm really happy about that because it's March now. And it's actually getting to the end of March. March is going by so dark going fast. It's just crazy. Crazy how fast March is going by. But, yeah. 
So that's all I'm always said. Tell you guys about trying to make this under 10 minutes. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications so I give you a shout out. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Take, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. Bye.